Uh, my name's Robbie Hughes. I'm the whiskey distillery manager at uh, Glengoyne Distillery. The fundamental part of it is ensuring that uh, the product that gets to the bottle is Glengoyne whiskey, making sure it's absolutely perfect. Uh, that's the easy part of it. You know, sometimes it's it's also a lot of compliance, dealing with various uh, government legislation as well, um, dealing with contracts, uh, loads of health and safety, environmental, you know, uh, all kinds of customs revenue. I left school uh, at the age of seventeen with really no sense of direction. There was three million people unemployed at the time, you know, so it wasn't really uh, an employment market as such. Uh, I fancied a couple of months unemployed, but my father told me, you're going to have to get a job, Robbie. So there was a job at the whiskey distillery, rolling barrels. That was when I was 18. So I really just knocked on the door. The manager asked me to read one paragraph out of a book. And because I could read, he, em he employed me. And that was as much as the interview was back then. For me, it was a job for the winter. That was what I saw. As I, was, I started in October and I thought, if this sees me till the spring, and I'll get myself a, pro a proper job, if you like, you know, and uh, here I am 25 years later, slowly work my way up through the career ladder, going from one distillery to another uh, over a number of years, uh, picking up all aspects of uh, the production, all aspects of management, uh, all aspects of compliance, until eventually came to uh, Glengoyne Distillery and became the distillery manager here. My very first distillery was uh, a wee distillery called Balblair, Distillery, which is uh, in Rosshire in the north of Scotland, near a uh, town called Tain. So I worked there for nine years. That's really where I sharpened my teeth. Uh, that's where I rolled the barrels, I did the mashing, I did the, the distillation, you know, ran the stills, did all the, all the hands on uh, getting to know the job aspects. And then once I was ready for the next step for the promotion, then I had to move. I moved my family as well to various other. Uh, distilleries in Scotland in Glengoyne. It's about the 13th distillery I've worked at. My old man, he left school at 14 or 15 as they did back in the 1950s. You know, we didn't have uh, any pieces of paper to his name, nothing at all. He failed the 11 plus, which was the big deal back then. So he was then probably earmarked for a manual job, you know, and uh, he did a wee bit better than that. He did very well, uh, just really through hard work. But they encouraged me to stick in, do the best I could. Came out of school with the O levels and you know some hires as well, but didn't have that sense of direction, unfortunately. I mean, I could have gone to college to do something that I wasn't interested in, you know, which would have needed to be funded by my parents as well, which I wasn't really keen. And I wanted to make some money, you know. I wanted to leave school and I wanted to get some get some cash to go out there and enjoy life. And I never anticipated I'd be sitting at Glengoyne Distillery near Glasgow all those years ago. I, I, was, I was fortunate to be in the industry I'm in. They always, they always do, or they used to, employ from within and promote from within as well. Uh, and I had a good manager at the time who helped me do that. So I think it's having, having someone that can help you and see that you're a, a worthy person who can always encourage you and, and bring you on too. There's uh, loads of uh, investment in the industry now through the bigger companies and the smaller companies as we are. Uh, a lot of employment, new distilleries getting built, uh, distilleries coming out of mothballed, you know, we've, uh, it's, as, it's as good as I've ever seen in the last 25 years.